Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Playing some more Map Arena 2019 Submission Showcases. This is Fellowship of Darkness, submitted by Lux, also known as Asper. This is part of his campaign known as Invicta, which is on the SC2 Arcade, so you can just search for Invicta and play through the whole thing. I have not played the first seven parts, so I will have no idea what's going on. So I'm not really going to think too much about the narrative that I clearly will not understand. Cassidy and Ryder managed to secure the artifact back on Reculus. However, IAC forces blocked their retreat to Bleak Holds, the Inferno capital city. Instead, Cassidy and Ryder landed in the ruined city of Lux Enoch, where the cult of Strivix was waiting to assist them. Lux Enoch is the home of many zealot Imperium factions, including the ancient house Irvise. The cult has had prepared a defensive formation to hold the artifact. Amon was ready to create a new form for himself. The IAC and Zerg forces would do anything to stop Amon's resurrection. Thanks to those on the Discord for encouragement. Huge thanks to Inferno and Artem, who did a lot of work with the terrain. Also thanks to Alavis for help setting up the mod. I recognize Alavis. You and your allies will be given new constructors if your base falls. However, while you rebuild, you will be vulnerable. Okay, so this is part eight. I think this is the, the latest mission of Invicta released. Okay. It will take multiple tries to perfect a strategy. Enemy attack will be weaker with a moderate amount of AoE units. Enemy attacks will be much weaker with very few units. You know, someone who play tested this map recommended that, that I should play this on easy. Just for the sake of consistency with the rest of the contest, I'll play it on normal. And if we can't win, then we can't win, I guess. So let's go. I can always quick save too and see how it goes. Ancient city of the Zealot Imperium. Cassidy Del Inferno, I am thrilled to have you on our, on our side. There's no need for pleasantries. I dislike working with the cult just as much as you dislike me. But if that is what must be done... To resurrect Amon, we must put all petty grievances aside. Our time is coming, and we will all be stronger for it. I was promised unlimited power, and I expect it. You will have it, once I am free. I am ready to create a body for myself so that I may leave the artifact, but I need time to create it. We have prepared defensive locations in this area, and Strivix reinforcements are on the way. Most of my forces were destroyed at, at the Requilus. I have ordered our most elite soldiers from Sethereal to come and aid us. Stealth and Ariel will throw all they have at us. We must be ready. Duros is commanding my fleet and will delay Stealth's forces as long as possible. Lady Cassidy, I have grave news. IAC reinforcements are coming from all over the planet. Stealth has rallied all of the Invicta Rex, Rex systems. We will hold. We must. So wait. Okay, first of all. Let's, can we turn this music down? Uh, number two. Are we the baddies? I think we're the baddies. Okay, what can you do? My lady, I've designed a new battleship for us to use. The Justicar and Selik will likely have new designs as well. Burst of health, mind control. We want to use that as much as possible. You now have access to air units. Well, I haven't played any of the previous seven missions, so from my perspective, I've always had air units, including the new Inferno Sovereignix. The Sovereignix is a powerful carrier unit that spawns fanatical fighters when it dies. Just like other Inferno unique units, it is not affected by standard upgrades. It can be upgraded via the Legions of Fire upgrade and the Eris Weaponsmith. Be aware that the Sovereignix has a large supply requirement. Your supply cap is only 150. Okay. Quick save. Burst of health, mind control, shadow cannon. Got it. Auto rapid recharge. Guardian shell. Lady Cassidy, our allies have their own mineral and Vespian stockpiles. However, if they are to upgrade their defenses, we will have to supplement them. Okay. Not a lot of space here. Then I will need to find a balance between our allies and our own defenses. Uh, I guess we can, like, send one of you out of the base to look around. My lady, the IAC fleet is too large to withstand. Justicar and silly ground forces have arrived. They have us surrounded. Once Amon is free, we will need to break through their blockade. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Oh, the map just got way larger. I was about to suspect that, you know, this is a holdout map, so we just have to stay alive the whole time. I guess let's just, like, look around. Lady Cassidy, I have more bad news. Zerg forces are heading towards our current location. They seem to be setting up a base. Hey, I got a Hydralisk. Yeah, I'm just trying to, like, find stuff. I guess there's, like... So we have, like, three lanes here. We can upgrade our allies eventually. Oh, that's a lot. 1,500 and 500. I'm looking for an expansion by, like, wandering around the map at this point. Um... Guess let's get a forge. Imperatrix, we are not alone in this region. There are multiple Zealot Imperium reaction retractionary groups nearby who may sympathize with our cause. All right, retractionary groups, we're counting on you. Cassidy, you're making a huge mistake. I cannot allow you to release Amon. Sure. You do not stand a chance against the combined might of the IAC, Cassidy. So I could build cannons to help them... My lady, we should prepare for combat. It's also tempting to just save up and get these levels of upgrades, like, as soon as possible. Thrallgate and Ligari Weaponsmith, that's different. It also said something about... What was that called? Legions of Fire upgrade at the Eris Weaponsmith. That's our cyber core, okay. There's a possible expansion here. And a bunch of resources, so let's grab these. Solid. Okay, good. It's like I'm, I still want to, like, look around for as much as possible. Again, my primary concern is there's not much space here. So let's get a, a wall of pylons, then we'll do shield batteries cannons behind them. Thanks for the sentry. I don't want to get too far out, because we're going to start getting attacked here pretty soon. I'm going to quick save, and I'm going to come back and maybe check down the, bl the, the blue side to see where we go from there. Dark Templar. Sounds good. I like the the, the music, just because it, I think this is supposed to be like an end-type map. Oh, Kerrigan's here. Amon was killed for a reason. I will not see him rise again. Run, buddy. Oh, he's got the rapid recharge. We'll get out of there. So let's go back to our own base, and then we're going to set up cannons here to help us against the initial set of attacks that are theoretically coming from our side. I'd like to go and check down the other way as well. And then I want to peep in on our other options here. Hope those finish in time. I haven't really been able to build much. I w it was offered to me to build <coughs> air units, like ultimate air units. So naturally, I think that's what I'm going to do. Guess let's get down here and help. This reminds me of the end of Legacy of the Void, for sure. So, hey, buddy. You going to repair or... Nah, he's not going to. He doesn't want to. Let's take this thing. Again, the music makes it feel very climactic. I think music is traditionally a bit underutilized when it comes to uh, custom maps, and I'd like to see it used more because I think like this has a really uh, solid effect of conveying like, hey, you're probably near the end. <laughs> Hold out, buddy. You're going to make it. It's got a nice feel to it. Okay, we're going to need more here. I just got uh, mind control, man. I'm going to mind control literally everything that I that I can while we're getting set up here. I need to get upgrades. I need to save up for this. Lady Cassidy, ISC forces have been detected on approach. We could try to intercept them before they set up a base. So it looks like we want to leave our base. Enemy IAC reinforcements will periodically arrive to aid the enemy. They will warp in an army, which will then proceed to a base location. If it reaches the location, it will set up a base and send attacks at you. Destroying the army before they arrive will prevent this. If, an, if any IAC faction is destroyed, it will warp in fresh forces after an amount of time has passed. You will get resources for destroying IAC bases or initial armies. So it's basically saying you can intercept them before they set up. You'll get paid for it. But even if you destroy them, they'll spawn again later. I think that's basically what it's telling me. Okay, let's get some additional tech set up here. 
Something is supposed to be spawning at this point, but I don't know what. Nothing's showing up on the mini-map, so... The supremacy has arrived. Our enemies will break before us. Okay. Will they, though? I see. Okay. So we got a guy on the map. If I, like, move out and try to stop this... I guess the question is, can I? Am I capable of stopping this? I still need a... Did I ever get, like, a, like an actual cyber core? I don't think I did. Where can I cram this? Not a lot of space. Where are you going? I, 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 gotta try, I gotta quick save and try to intercept this. Absolutely crucial, it seems like. And then maybe we save up to upgrade our guys. Should have taken whatever this was. A large enemy force has been detected heading towards me. I need aid soon, Cassidy. Again, maybe I can make this work. Oh, God. <laughs> Probably not. Guardian shell? Holy shit. So we're supposed to be able to try to st I don't, I don't think I don't think there's any way we could stop this first one. Let's load our quick save. I'm glad I saved because it was just more of like a let's check to see if we can stop this and the answer was no. <laughs> uh I think maybe the whole thing of like <coughs> being able to to stop them is um maybe for like later. Maybe it's not again, it's a little misleading. Like should I really be making an attempt to stop them early or I I, I don't know. Uh, what I can do is maybe set up some defenses to help out these guys for later. You to speak. General Ryder is the one down here. I just realized he's Mobius, so it makes sense, right? So we're some weird faction of the Tall Dareem. And then General Ryder is Mobius, and then whoever Strivix is are, are like Amon fanatics or something like that. So that's how this all kind of fits together, I think. Sovereignix. Elite version carries more disciples and spawns an additional fanatic on death. So the weaponsmith... It's gotta be this, right? Inferno unique units gain greatly improved stats or abilities. However, the cost will increase. Sovereignix gains additional two disciples and spawns units when it dies. But they, they don't benefit from like our plus one, two, three, if I'm understanding correctly. I think I'm just going to make air units and just wall this in. This area is mine, enemy scum. Prepare to be ripped to shreds. And then I'm going to save up and I'm going to try to... And then I'm going to try to save up and upgrade my allies. If I can defend myself with cannons and such, we'll be in good shape. Okay, so our pylons can attack air... That's interesting. My lady Strivix reinforcements have been detected near our position. We should be able to warp them into the battle. Strivix forces have arrived to assist us. They are within warping range. Well, sh where should they attack? Let's quick save again to see whatever the heck this is. Uh, we want to get Sovereignixes, right? Take this thing. Do I have to use this now? Or can I can I save it? Again, let's quick save. Because if I can save it, that would probably be for the best. I just even thought to consider looking to see if I had um, Chrono Boost. I think my biggest issue right here... Well, there, I have two concerns. Number one, the whole intercepting enemy armies as they're arriving uh, was, a, was quite misleading. Uh, and then second is is space. There's not much space in here to maneuver at all. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. No, no, no. Stay down here. Let's help these guys out. 
Let's take the 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 duration. Pacifier pulse, sure. Lost it, but that's okay. I can take the other one. A large attack is heading our way. Once they're defeated, we will have time to recuperate. So that's Dominox Vordron. Is that, uh, oh, he's not saying, like, who. You know, they're coming to attack who. So let's get more Sovereign Xs. I see, yeah, it doesn't, it's not listed as, um, being eligible for attack upgrades. That's interesting. I will upgrade shields, though. So let's just rotate around and help our allies. Do you think this guy's ever going to rebuild that bunker? I think he already has once, so. Take stuff. Always always take units. Every single attack wave, we got to be taking stuff. All right, that's one down. I think we'll be able to handle ourselves. Let's come down here to help Blue, who's in the most trouble, I'd say. See, we have another enemy group moving out. can't quite take this one, so I will uh, Shadow Cannon it. Okay, we're holding on. He said a large attack was coming our way. I see, I see, and it's, I see like different factions attacking us as well. So let's attack down the middle. Defendant forces have arrived. We will not waver. The Justicar scum will know defeat this day. I think those are enemies. Yeah, okay, this is pretty large here. I almost have enough to start upgrading my allies. Construct a factory and build mechanical units. Yes, get me some tanks in this, please. And again, I'm pretty sure that I can't upgrade these with... It said can't be upgraded with normal upgrades, right? It is not affected by standard upgrades. It can be upgraded via the Legions of Fire upgrade in the Aeris Weaponsmith. We did that. Okay. Just wanted to double check. I am getting I am getting um, plasma shield upgrades, which does not seem to be affecting this stuff. So cancel that. I see the Strivix forces moving out, so that's going to keep that side clear. So let's upgrade Mobius. This base location is mine. Your demise is at hand, Inferno. Mechanical forces inbound for the Fallen ones. Oh, for the Fallen one, which is um, you know, I could make Oblivists too. That sounds good. I mean, I'll upgrade air weapons just in case, but I'm a little skeptical. Ooh, did they intercept the... No, I thought they may have intercepted the incoming enemy attack that was getting their base set up. <laughs> but it seems like no. Wow, 2,500 and 1,000 Vespian. I think I'm doing okay for now, right? My main area is going to fall eventually. But I'll just keep layering cannons here. If I can hold, I want I want him to hold out so he can actually get his stuff set up. And once we get a once we get that mass of uh, of carriers, we'll be in better shape, right? Stop this madness, Cassidy! I beg you, do not listen to him. He's blind to the truth. The IAC is finished, Stealth. This is the dawn of a new era, my era. Amon will betray you, Cassidy. When did you become so foolish? Those are them's fighting words. Lies. I just realized maybe mass, um... Maybe just mass, um... Dark Templar could work. If they don't have anything that can detect... Do these things, what, what, how do these things attack? Like, I see them attacking, but I can't tell how they attack. I think I should save up and upgrade Mobius. Mobius seems to be in more trouble than this middle guy. Well, I think, nah, we can, we can do middle guy, and then we'll do Mobius. Let's save up and get this 1500 upgrade Strivix. I'd love to consider moving out and taking out an enemy base, but I don't know where they are. Our forces are increasing in strength for the Fallen One. Get a probe over here to set up, reset up some of these defenses. We know that the pylons can attack air, which is a huge, huge help. Upgrade complete. 
And then this is locked up, but I, I'm not super confident that they won't be able to push through it. Really depends on what attacks us and from what direction. Like, I can put Cassidy up here to mind control stuff if it, as it comes in. There's not much that the Zerg has that I'd consider worth mind controlling. I'd like to get... I think I just want to max out on Sovereignixes. They they have, like, an elite version of them. Maybe get some Oblivists. But, yeah, Mass Air seems reasonable. So, like, I take this. I, I think this is key. Absolutely. We just got to take every unit possible. All right. 42 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. I'm coughing right into my microphone. I should at least attempt to move away. See, this is listed as Protoss plating, not Protoss air plating. The thing is, if I get Tempests, we want we want to upgrade those. Okay, we have enough pylons to hold us out. Strivix will construct a forward base to delay the enemy. That doesn't seem worth the money. The starport for, for Mobius certainly does. All right, we have an attack down here. We're going to queue up another Sovrix, Sovrinix. Cassidy, let's move you back down well, anywhere, really, so that we can steal stuff. These middling attacks, I think I'm doing okay with. See, these things sit in the back. I don't really see them actually attacking. Do they have a real attack, or am I wasting my time stealing them? Oh, no. Okay, I see. They, they attacked. <laughs> Here, have a heal, buddies. Mm, they're still not really getting through. I think... I think we're doing okay, as long as we stay relatively spread out. Uh, yeah, let's save up and upgrade Mobius. We're, we're, oh, we're not really almost there. It is a long way to go still, but... Pacifier Pulse. These are better versus structures. Yeah, our, our bottom guy here needs the most help for sure. I, this is one of those where, like, you need a solid start. If you don't have a solid start, you're going to get screwed. And I think I've done okay, so... I think it's important that we spread our units out, though, as I had mentioned. Okay. Okay. And then I've got units here to help out this side. Oh, don't attack our own zealot. And they've got he's got a guy who size storms. Keep in mind, this is on normal difficulty. This seems pretty rough. This seems pretty hard. If I get more upgrades, does it apply to the enemies that I take? Like, yeah, no, it doesn't, because this guy still has zero, for example. One of them had one one one, so I think upgrading ground is not going to be helpful at all. I think not getting any upgrades, I, I don't see a point. We've detected a pause in IAC attacks. Use this respite well, lady, my lady. Stealth, Nova forces have arrived. We will aid in the battle. Strivix forces have arrived to assist us. They are within warping range. Where shall we attack? Hey, if we have an... You know what? Pause. Or save. East, northeast, north. Let's go east. Maybe come and take this piece of garbage. Never mind. I didn't want it anyway. I want to go with this group and go find where these things, these enemies are setting up and kill them. It said that they had paused! Uh, upgrade Mobius. Take the Immortal. Make more Sovereignixes. I think I'd like another um, starport, stargate. Don't wall in, don't wall in my uh, my uh, gateway though. This this I save for a reason because I think this is probably a mistake. My carriers are somewhere, but they, I think is there an air blocker somewhere? Because they're not here. Yes, there there is indeed an air blocker. 
This is a nicely sized attack, so at the very least, you know, we'll get some pallet pickups, and if we can find an enemy base to destroy, that would be great. We're starting to lose stuff, so our static defense is not going to be enough in the long run here. So we need to start stationing some, some units. You know what? Screw attacking the bases at this point. It's not going to work. I would rather leave my units at home and just mind control and make more carriers. And we can split the carriers just three ways and hold out until the timer's up. If Amon comes back, in theory, he'll be ultra powerful and then we don't have to really worry about anything. I will upgrade air units, though, because I'm going to be building... Um, uh, no, 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 that's a waste of money. Stealth, my vanguard is ready. I shall assault the cult's position. How many reinforcements does this motherfucker get? Also, will this guy ever rebuild his bunkers? He was supposed to build a, a starport, and it's possible that I've blocked him, and now he can't. So that may have not been a, a good use of my money. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so you guys can stay down here to help. You guys up here, and Cassidy. And then the rest of you, I think we put over on our side. I don't think we need that much help on our side, though, because we're in pretty good shape. So we want to, again, split these units. I think I'm, I think I'm blocking them, unfortunately. But, like, I wonder what he would have built... If I, if I let him do it. <laughs> I assume the forward base would be here, but I really can't be sure. And them setting up a forward base, well, it might be, like, through this area. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't know. Let's just make sure we keep mind controlling, and we'll figure out how we're going to end this later. I need, to, I need to get maxed out before I really consider doing anything else. Tempest, please. Oblivist. They're not really upgrading their stuff, so... It's good for me. Assault team ready. Moving to engage Mobius. That means that whatever this faction is, <laughs> is attacking down here. I definitely find it interesting that we seemingly are the baddies. Again, if I max max upgrade, they'll at least be building stuff and attempting to constantly rebuild stuff. So that's kind of a big deal, right? I'm just gonna take the Oblivists. And then they're bringing in these Arbiters, but I don't really care about that. So they're bringing in heroes. Can't mind control them. That's, you know, why would we be able to? The Inferno will never succeed. Okay, well, you just passed away, sir, so... Fuck out of here. This is a large attack. Uh, I'm gonna need more defense, I think, on my side of things. I can always just rebuild this stuff. I think... I mean, I'm gonna upgrade this. I will upgrade this later. Just to... Just to have it. Swarm hosts, huh? Okay, let's see. I only lost two cannons in that whole engagement? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> this is a little scarier. Uh, let's make sure we kill the Tempest first, or the Oblivist, rather. Because that's what's going to do, really, the only damage to my carriers. See, where would he have built the starport? Th that's, I think, again, if I if I had two gripes, just to reiterate, one is space in the bases, and the other is... Merci forces are here to aid you stealth. One is, is room in the bases, and one is, like, this whole concept of being able to destroy enemies before they get set up. I'm still not really clear how that works. Like, this is moving somewhere. Once it got set up, even just the tiniest fog of war blip on the map to give you an indication of where they're getting set up so you know to move out and destroy them would be helpful, but we don't have that, so it's kind of hard to figure out what to do. 
Uh, yeah, we want to upgrade. We want to go for Strivix. Upgrade Strivix. Get this max upgrade done so that I don't even have to think about it anymore. And then we'll just continue getting maxed out on Sovereignixes. We cannot allow you to succeed. Sure. Getting a lot of Immortals, and these don't count towards our supply. A location has been secured for Delmar C. We must support our allies, warriors. Okay, see ya. Okay, we need to reinforce more units down here next. Ooh, Cassidy, be careful. Let's send you down here. The thing with Blue is if all my stuff gets wiped, it might be for the best, because then he might be able to actually build what he wants to build. Strivix forces have arrived to assist us. They are within warping range. Where shall they attack? Stealth, I'm ready to engage. Our enemies will not be allowed to resurrect Amon. Yeah, they're trying to build out there. Uh, let's attack down here, if they can even get through. Yeah, they, they're, they're trying. I should have attacked down the middle to help them get set up. So we want to move up. My will is Stealing Colossi would also be really good. Kind of hard to say. Let's just get up there and take what we can. Give him a little breathing room to get these buildings set up. A fine scheme. And then, yeah, I just need more. <laughs> just need more of these. Yeah, this is exactly... I wanted, I needed a delay down one of these lanes. That's hugely useful. I'm going to keep taking the Immortals. The amount that we have been able to steal is, I think, made a huge difference. Because keep in mind, we're at 118 supply, but how much of that, um, how much more do we have because of stolen units? I think it's significant at this point. Okay, these two need to be down here. Uh, Strivix was able to push these back decently. We will not bow to anyone. 28 minutes. <laughs> Been about... 30 minutes recording time. Yeah, see, Cult of Strivix middle is set up pretty good here. I would have liked to take this base, but I don't think it really would have made sense. I don't think we would have been able to hold on to it realistically, so I'm not gonna... Brother, I think it is time we took matters into our own hands. I agree, my vanguard is ready. Let the assault commence. God, everybody hates us. <laughs> Every single one of them hates us. Uh, sure, I'll upgrade Plasma Shields level 3. It's expensive, but probably worth it in the long run. Walling this ramp for the most part, I think, has worked out. They're barely getting through. I should just let the Terran... I mean, I, presumably the Terran have... Um, like, the, our allies have unlimited money. So I think it's important that we... I think it's important that we, um... Did I get it? Yeah, that's a pretty big attack. I think we got it. Let's just keep healing. I don't remember what I was saying, because that was... A big attack. Uh, don't, don't A-click, please. Let's just keep rebuilding here. We pushed back the, that large scripted attack. See, like, when should we consider moving out and taking a base? We're near maxed out. We're, we've taken a bunch of enemy units. It's working out. <clears throat> I just don't know when the right time to push out is. Um, I will queue up upgrades because I have nothing else to spend my money on except more units when we inevitably lose stuff. I will get... Let's get a blood mech gate. And see what all the excitement's about with the blood mech gate. One thing that could probably help this in terms of the space issue is make it so that there, um, there's no... 
Um, there's no supply restriction. Just give the player 100 su uh, 150 supply straight up so that they don't even have to um, bother with supply. Again, I think there's a couple of different ways that you could approach this map to make it um, different. Oh, Centur- No! Not my guy! Oh, that's not my main guy. Ah, shit. I'm taking too much damage. Minions, hold the line. I hope she comes back. My lady, a massive attack is detected heading towards you. Do you think I am scared? We have two enemy heroes in here. Alright, let's back up because our, our lady who can mind control is gone. That's actually quite key, losing her. This side's probably locked up tightest, even though I over-secured it because I, they, I felt like they couldn't... Uh, They couldn't help too much. But now, again, we've over-secured it. For the Invicta, Justicar, we must not fail. Sure. Do you think she comes back? Can I resummon her? I'm a little concerned that I can't. Selling forces, fight on. I mean, we didn't lose for we didn't lose the map because she died. I really hope she respawns because she was absolutely crucial. But there's no timer anywhere or anything like that. This guy's still alive. I need any new carriers that spawn need to go to the middle because without the the ability to steal units, that it's gonna that's gonna hurt. Twenty three minutes. Every time I look at the timer, it feels like it hasn't really moved. Centurus Runatorian. <laughs> okay. Battle mech with a powerful area of power make it a formidable fighter. The elite version has increased damage in armor and is a detector. That's cool. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Let's just fall back. Oh, hello. Oh, these are the fanatics. Okay. I get it. I get it. I mean, I could just abandon my whole base and then just go and destroy the enemy bases. That probably would make this way better than it currently is. I'm really sad that my lady died. That was really, again, a kind of a crucial turning point. And now I'm not super confident I'll be able to win. Ha! Cassidy! Get up there, lady! I can't steal the... I think... The, <laughs> I guess those are heroic because they're the Phoenix models. Okay, she's back. We good. Strivix forces have arrived to assist us. They're within warping range. Where shall they attack? Warriors of Del Salik, not one step back. Let's attack down the middle. It'll give some space for them to re-expand down the middle. I think we're losing some pylons down here. Oh no, it's... Why am I... How did I get supply blocks? I don't know. Again, yeah, let Strivix go down the middle. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. This is all now about, I think, what, you know, what can we capture? What can we take with Cassidy? Because that's the only way that we can improve our situation. I'll keep getting upgrades. I'll quick save now. This might be a good spot to consider letting this stuff die so that maybe Blue can actually get their extra defense set up. See, no matter where we send Strivix to attack, they run into, like, a giant attack wave. Look at how many... I don't know how good these Insinuators are supposed to be, but they're heroics... Well, why can't I take... No, I can't take these. It looked like I couldn't take them earlier. I don't know. I don't know what that was about. I think we just wait for the timer to run out, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. We clearly have to destroy these extra bases, but let's... Uh, let's Once I assume Amon's going to spawn and be uh, a monster... Um, it sh hopefully will be easy to wipe the map after that, but after he's released, I'm really hopeful that 
we can actually finish the map because we've let all the enemy bases just plant themselves right on the map. Which I think is not what we wanted to do initially. I don't even care if they if this stuff goes down. I can go and meet them in the in the second layer, steal something, and then back up. I kind of want to take one of these insinuators just to see what it does. 8% damage increase. I just saw expertise. Let's see if we can get it out and get Cassidy out. No, it's dead. <laughs> I mean, this guy's got good spellcasters, so I'm not too concerned. I'm just gonna take the, um... The, the uh, Oblivists is what they're called. Get up there. Take it! Come on! They're too... T okay, we want to take the Dell and Victor Justicars. They're better leveled up. They seem to be preparing for a massive attack. We should use this time to strengthen our defenses. You told me that last time, and they still attack me at full strength, so don't don't lie to me. I lost a carrier. It's about time. That's not what it's called, but you know what I mean. Sovereignix. How much for the, um... That's six, unfortunately. I guess get a Senerus or whatever. Okay, back up. Apparently we're supposed to be preparing for something, <laughs> even though they're still attacking us at full strength. I want this. I want it. I, I want it so badly. Okay, thank you. I can't really say how... Maybe if there was an intended way to complete this, I'm not sure what it was. Besides mind control. Can I get back inside? Mr. Probe Lord. Okay, that's looking good. General Ryder's just right up there in the front. What a man! Alright. I think that side's fine. I really wanted these one of these insinuators. He is mine. The Inferno will never succeed. Well, we're we're doing pretty good here, so don't speak to me about when and where we will succeed. All right? How about that? We lost another carrier. I think we just send this one back to the middle. I don't know where again where we're consistently losing them. This defense is held up pretty well. Forces of the IAC, we must stop Amon at all costs. Destroy the artifact. We would get a cash bounty if we went and killed their bases, but now I don't need it. I think I've done surprisingly well, like better than I would have expected to, without a doubt. Again, having like this area to build in, like have this kind of pushed out, would be immensely useful. And then just have the, the opening to the bases just be pushed up a little bit. Because, again, there's, there's virtually no room to build any extra production structures here. That might be intentional. It's kind of hard for me to say. Okay, yellow coming up. You all just attack into this group. I'm going to take these fellas and move on up and just engage this group straight up. I'll steal the, the Tempest again, or the, the what, you know, you know, whatever it's called. Does this have an attack? Maybe it only attacks air. I don't know. Okay. Amon must be stopped at all costs. Man, they just... Endless, endless taunting. Get over it. You're probably going to lose. 14 minutes. I just realized we weren't on the fastest game speed this whole time. I sped it up. Maybe that'll speed up the, the counter. Because by the time this ends, it will be a legit hour into game time. After all this, I'm still very confused on if the intended way to play was to go out and <coughs> try to wipe the bases in the first place. Because I might be able to. I don't feel like I have that much... Uh... I don't have enough to hold out with all of this, I don't think. 
The teal attacks, I think, are the biggest ones to be concerned about. We're just going to take more Tempests. Let them come up the ramp because we've got some AoE to help us out. That side is fine. All right. Yep, just, just get in there. Steal something. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, I should have just used the heal. That's all right. It was probably worth getting a 2-2-2 two, two, two Tempest. Strivix forces have arrived to assist us. They are within warping range. Where shall I attack? I'm taking too much damage. Minions hold the line. Got it. But she comes back in like five minutes, maybe. Whoo, that's a big one. That's a big attack. Um, once again, let's attack down the middle because she's gone right now. I think all, all of our sides are relatively safe. The Justicar scum will no defeat this day. The other thing is there's really no way I can know what the enemy bases are like. We will not bow to anyone. I tried to intercept one of the armies, and it was huge. I could probably take it now if I tried. I don't even know if I can get to this middle. Yeah, I can. Okay. Doesn't hurt to replace this stuff. Move these guys up to the front. And with the Immortals, yeah, those are really helpful, too. Yeah, Strivix, I think, was the right choice here. It lets this stuff get set up, which delays. Though, honestly, all this does is it forces the enemy to clump up. Um, as opposed to actually stopping them. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have expected it to stop them, but it's so minimal that really all it does, again, is it results in, in forcing the enemy to completely clump up. So I'm not really sure how much value I'd really place on these. Though maybe she'll pop out in time. Got a whole lot of love. In order to steal more Oblivists. I've, I've got a big fleet here. I'm not too concerned. Yeah, this can only attack air. That's kind of what I suspected. Ten minutes. Um... For the sake of the time of the video, I may just make a cut until the timer's just about done. Reason being is I suspect the next 10 minutes is going to be the same as everything we've done up until this point. So yeah, let me... I'll, I'll quick save, and I'm going to make a stop here just so that, again, I, assuming we're going to have to destroy everything at the end, I want to make sure I leave enough time to end the video in like that hour 10 time frame. Okay, less than a minute. His resurrection is almost upon us. I've stolen more units. Um, this guy went down. He said that he went down. I assume he will also come back, but I can't be sure about that. Um, all the sides seem to be doing pretty much okay. This side is a little dicey right now. I could always send her down there to steal the Tempests for the, the Oblivists, but I think we're okay. My time is now. So let's quick save and see what happens. No! No! Oh, yes. I am free. With this form of pure energy, I shall reclaim the void and ascend once again. My lord rises. We are unstoppable. Warriors, Amon must be stopped. Ready for duty. Do not let arrogance overwhelm you. I will not make that mistake again. All right. 4,000 shields. I may be powerful, but until I reconnect with the void, I am mortal. I'm also path blocked by pretty much everything. Soon Kerrigan will come to face me. We must destroy her allies before she can arrive. Isolated and alone, she is weak. This map never stops. Then the IAC will fall. We need to push their forces back to Elvia City. There we will destroy them to the last. I shall have the artifact warped out and shall begin preparations to release our other lord. No, do not release him. Warp mo too much. I'm taking too much. Oh, that. I will deal with Mevalant later. Mevalant? It matters not for now. We must focus on the fight ahead. Where's Cassidy? Is she gone? Oh, she, maybe she died. I don't know. So he's got confused. He also has mind control. So I gotta go find some of these bases. We gotta put some of these clowns in the ground. Alright? We got a pretty big fleet here. I would like to think that this group can handle pretty much anything coming at us.
kind of hard to say. Okay, I'm going to keep going this way. Let's bring them all. And I, I don't know if I'll be able to actually complete this. We're also pushing a pretty hefty time limit. I've, I've, I've stuck it out for some other entries, but this is, again, it's pretty... It's feeling... Pre the pressure's building, I should say. There's just, there's a lot... It doesn't end. Amon's very strong, though, so I'd like to hope this is sort of a victory lap, but I really, I don't know. I have so many Tempests that I have gotten. Wait, are our allies actually able to push now? Because that's the dream. Okay, this is big. I think we found, like, a base that we can actually destroy. Okay, that's one down. We found one of them. My base has fallen. Impossible. Oh, it's possible, baby. Okay, with them out of the way, we're going to come this way. Let's come down here, and then we'll cut through. I return. Let's finish this. Okay, good. So she does stay with us. Solid. So you're now two. Amon is one. We've got double mind control. Strivik's forces have arrived. That's awesome as well. So we're going to have them attack to the northeast. Justicar scum will know defeat, etc., etc. Is that... Oh, hello. Hello? Greeting, stranger. I speak on behalf of Prince Ataros Ivaris of the Zealot Imperium. What business do you have here? I'm Cassidy Del Inferno, matriarch of House Del Inferno. I seek to restore the Imperium and destroy the IAC. The Inferno are broken free from the restraint of the IAC. My lord will be pleased about this. House Ivaris is the last bastion of the Zealot Imperium. If you truly wish to restore Empire, then you may consider us as friends. Ooh, okay. I'm glad to hear so. I could use your aid against the IAC. Solid, okay. Our military is not what it once was, and Lord Ataros has resigned to his chambers in a self-imposed exile. Dude, I don't want to hear your excuses. Just, just either help us or shut up. If I were to aid you, I would require resources to rest- Yeah, okay, we got resources. We got resources, dude. We're ready for you. This is one of those if only I would have known moments. If you provide the finances, I shall send the finest, etc., etc. Black hole. Financed. For Prince Ataros. Okay, another one down. This is big. No, our base may have fallen, but Nova, but the Nova will return. Okay. I think we've hit our victory lap. I was a little concerned earlier, but with the amount of um of mind controls we have, I think we're I think we're good. See ya, suckers. Okay, excellent. Let's keep pushing. So that's two of I don't even know how many. Also, Kerrigan supposedly will be showing up to fuck us at some point, so we should be wary of that. Meanwhile, our other entries, our other entrances are okay. I'm mostly focused on mind control, to be honest. Yes, okay, Del Invicted Justicar, I think, are the ones that have caused me the most problems in the past. I have taken so many units. The Inferno will never succeed, really, because what does it look like we're doing right now, Legate Artemis? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Jay Barino's got a trash talk. It's been a tough mission. It's solid. We're doing good. Okay, good. Those two guys are gone. I cannot allow you to win, Cassidy. The IAC will stop you, Cassidy. Really? Because isn't this the IAC base that we're actively destroying at this very moment? I think so. Thanks for the insinuator, idiots. <laughs> Salik forces fight on. It's nice to get to the end and have sort of that victory lap, as I had mentioned. Um, again, I, I mean, it really came down to space 
and a few other minor things, as I, as I had mentioned a couple times. So, you know, don't mind me <laughs> as I'm like, blah. Amon must be stopped. Oop, okay. You all just wait down here. I accidentally um, A clicked. That's the wrong thing to do. Trespassers, what business do you have with the true heirs of the Zealot Imperium? Jessica forces, we must retreat. You won here, Cat. Oh, wait, no. You're the remnants of the Melisandre house. Guard, are you not? I'm Cassidy Del Inferno, the matriarch of House Del Inferno. Another noble house lives. Do you intend to help us resurrect the Imperium, or are you content to cower under the rule of the IAC? I should have done this all so much earlier. Make no mistake, I cower before no one. Help me defeat the IAC here, and I will restore for our once great empire. You may have bested us here, Cassidy, but this war is far from over. Right, so we took out another faction. Bring your most elite warriors. One Centaurus, one Runatorian, one Oblivist, one Sorinex. To their base to gain aid. Where are they? Let's finish this up. Oh, we did. This base is gone. Okay. So that's, that's big. Next, we're going to come down here and clean this up to help our allies down here. Where is that base that's being described to me, though? Because I can build that stuff. I'm supply blocked, so I, I'll have to kill some of my own stuff to do it. But that's I'm, I'm fine doing that. I just I need to know where their base actually is. So I found them somewhere. Next, we're going to sweep down the bottom of the map, take that stuff out. I like how my allies are actually able to push out now. I think the enemy attacks lightened up a little bit. I think. <laughs> I've stolen so many of these Oblivists. That's why we've been able to win. Our sea forces, we must retreat and recuperate our losses. Heck yes. Okay, another one down. We've just got, like, roaming bands of units. I, and you could just fund them to attack whenever you want, which is pretty cool. Is this another base, or...? Uh, attack the Zerg? That's the one direction we haven't really been able to go yet. All right, let's clear out the bottom <coughs> right, and then there's probably something here, too. And then we've, we're have we essentially done. Again, we have, like, huge roaming forces of the Ivaris. Ultimately, I like this, this mission, but the expectations and the description of what was happening on the map was quite confusing. Again, you brush that up, you add a little space to the bases, and I think this is a really solid holdout. Also, the... the um, well, this goes along with the whole expectations thing, but, like... Normal difficulty, it was very unclear what the heck, um, <laughs> when I picked normal, what that meant. Because it said, for most players, I disagree. <laughs> this is very challenging um, for a StarCraft II map. Okay. See you later, green. Is this it? That's probably the Ivaris. Okay, that's done. So let's head on over here. So we need... We've got a Sovereignix, we've got an Oblivist, we need a Runatorian and a Centurus, which I have a Centurus. I need an Oblivon. So I need to find stuff that isn't mind-controlled and kill it. <laughs> so, goodbye. And then we're gonna make the Runatorian. I hope it allows me to bring units that, our, that aren't mind-controlled. Yeah, look at him go! If Ivaris gets down there, too, they've got it. All right, let's check this. Yes, this is it. Okay, so we need... These guys to not be stuck. We need these guys to not be stuck. And then I need to wait for this. So a Sovereignix, an Oblivist... Are any of these not mind-controlled? I doubt it. I thought I built one or two, but they're probably dead.
And then we've got a sen a Centaurus. I think. Oh, this one's not mind controlled. All right. And then a Runatorian. So maybe this group, if we can get it into this base, they'll they'll join us. I'm just doing this for fun. This is only a minor setback. I will return with my army. Perfect. We shall study these weapons for future future use. You have our aid. Oh, they take them. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's all done, so the next step is to come all the way over here. So we gotta figure out how to get our units over there, because these there are air blockers all over the place. I think we're gonna have to come down here. And then across. And then up. I think so. Okay, well I think I think we're in the we're you know we're we're clean we're in the cleanup mode. Our allies are able to help clean up the Zerg Swarm, and I think that the Zerg Swarm's all that's left. It's possible there's gonna be something way up here. And I might even want to send a like a probe to go and look. Just to check, but I suspect there's really nothing left. Again, our allies are able to clean this up for the most part. Now I can like I can F2 and just sweep up the top of the map. Kerrigan Zerg. Again, I'm able to kind of guess what the story's meant to be here. It's certainly quite interesting. But we're, we're clearly playing as the baddies. Uh, Amon's form is also too large to get through these bases, which is a shame. And these air blockers also. Kind of unnecessary. I don't know why they're air blockers cutting off the different lanes. He does have push priority, so I think if I babysit him, he'll make it through. Okay, good. He can get through now. Alright, let's go. Pick up some pallets along the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Eva Reese, go attack again. Destroy the Zerg Hive. That's all we gotta do. And then we're done. And these guys don't respawn anymore because the IAC base is gone, I presume. This really is, this is definitely like a grand holdout build and destroy both. Del Infect Inferno, we had heard your forces were nearby. Oh, we got another base to help us. The Cult of Arian, I guess we would find you here. I still do not understand why you split away from the Cult of Strivix. Alright, let's, let's go. The internal politics of the Cult is of little concern to you. However, we could use your aid. Creatures known to the Zerg are invading the forest we call home. They must be eradicated. Me. We are the if I direct my forces against the Zerg, will you aid me in the in my war? Well, we're doing that right now, dog. We shall, but you must prove the bad blood between us and Strivix will not destroy our alliance. I want their troops to be the ones to aid us against the Zerg. He wants us to trigger Strivix to attack up there. This can be arranged. This would have been a nice uh, optional objective to have popped up. Yeah, that I don't even think they're sending separate reinforcements anymore, so that's not going to work. I like the look of these zealots. All right, so that's that. Oh, yeah, now we can. Okay. Uh, we had to do it twice, though. We're going to finish the map before that. If I would have grabbed all these guys first, like earlier, this would have been so much more helpful. I didn't even think to look. Again, because it didn't pop up as a bonus objective to go and look. Um, I looked, you know, mildly outside my base, but I also really just didn't have the... I just didn't really have the bandwidth to, to go and check. Thanks for the Overseer. Cassidy's in here laying it down. Dominox Vordran also still doing a good job. And our army of mostly stolen ships is making it happen. I think this might be the hive we have to kill. I think it's, you know, destroy the whole base, naturally, so let's do that. And the fact, you know, Amon's got all these cool abilities, but I haven't had to really use too many of them. The mind control is still pretty much as useful as it could be. You may have defeated my minions here, but this is far from over. Well, all right.
My enemies have been pushed back. For now. They will not stop until I have been destroyed. We shall attack their capital city. This will throw them into chaos. Kerrigan's other allies are too far away to arrive to assist her in time. With the IAC in chaos, she will be alone and vulnerable. Then we will march to Elvia, a I I I I'll Elvia, and destroy any who oppose you, my lord. And my empire will be born from the flames. Alright, well again, I'm not going to speculate too much on the lore. I, I guess I sort of had assumed what we were doing. I think we're the baddies. But, um... I liked the use of the custom music. Even without any context of the campaign, I could get a general sense of what was happening on this map. The biggest thing was the, you know, the whole idea that the enemy forces move out and they get set up. Uh, I don't think there's even much of a point in explaining that to the player, because it makes the player think that they could move out and stop them. And I don't think you can. The attacks are frequent enough that there's virtually no way. Um, and honestly, I think the only way that I held out as long as I did was because I used, I abused mind control, which I think must be the intended way to do this. Um, what would have helped is if I got those three zealot tribes. I should have done that way earlier, <coughs> and I never did. Um, that would have been nice to just see as a bonus objective, which is... Um, recruit the, the the tribes, and then as you uh, as you arrive to the tribes, or it was, ma make a bonus objective, make contact with the tribes. Then you can add bonus objectives for you know what do you need to do to have them join you would be I think particularly useful. Um, financing the Ivaris is pretty easy overall. Uh, you have enough money by the end. Uh, this map is definitely is very hard I think for the first twenty to thirty minutes, and then I was able to just kind of sit at the entrances. I think an hour timer is. Um, I, a bit too long. I think it could be 45 minutes, 40 minutes, 30, even 35 minutes. I think the challenge of the map is, I mean, you can, te you can just check my video. I think at a certain point I had basically checked out because I didn't really have to do much besides continue to mind control stuff, which allowed us to roll the second half of the map. I, it was interesting how survive for 60 minutes was a bonus object, <coughs> a bonus objective. So it's possible that you may not even get Amon if you can't hold on to the artifact, but I think that was a main objective. So I'm not really sure why the survive for 60 minutes was its own um, bonus objective. Regardless, again, I like this entry, but you have to play it, I think, correctly, which is spam mind control. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to hold out because your, your supply limit is also nerfed for some reason. Um, but more space in the base would probably be my main piece of feedback. And, and then second is um, figure out a better way to communicate those armies coming in because I would not advise anyone trying to go and destroy those. It, it doesn't seem possible. I moved out early. I didn't have that much stuff, admittedly, but that was also when the attacks were lighter. Later on in the map, when I had a, when I had a big enough army to intercept the bases from getting set up, uh, the attacks were so frequent down each of the lanes that I couldn't afford to peel units off from each of the lanes to go and take out the bases. That's just my opinion. It's possible. I don't know. Maybe I'm just misrepresenting how many units I actually had, but I did not feel comfortable to do it. Uh, all right, so this was interesting. Again, sort of an alternate tech tree. It was mostly what I expected, but I like the idea of the elite units. Like, you get one upgrade, and it turns all of a specific type of unit into just a better version, and you don't even have to worry about the plus one, two, three upgrades. That's cool. All right, thanks so much for watching. This has been Jay Barino. Please leave your feedback below for Asper. You can play the entire released Invicta campaign, or what of it is released. I assume there will be more missions, but you can play... The, the missions that have been released 1 through 8 on the SC2 Arcade or download them from SC2 Mapster. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.